Hey guys, and welcome to another fun-filled day of Music with Mr. T. Today is a super special day because I'm 30 and fabulous. That's right, today is my 30th birthday. But enough about me. Here, we're learning some music. Today, I am going to teach you a call and response form that you can use with this book. Rap-a-tap-tap. -tap. Here's Bojangles. Think of that. This book was written by Leo and Diane Dillon, who are the winners of the Caldecott Medal. So all throughout this story, there are two parts. There is a call on the left side of the page, and on the right side of the page, there is your response. Rap-a-tap-tap, -tap. think of that. So for example, we could just read the book. He didn't just dance, he made art with his feet. Rap-a-tap-tap, -tap. think of that. But you know I am Mr. T, I am a music teacher, and I love to make things musical. So in just a moment, I am going to teach you all of the instrument parts for the response to this song, or to this book rather, so that you can use it in your classroom. <coughs> Pardon me. I will post a link to the description in the description below that has a printable score for you to use in your classroom on Teachers Pay Teachers. It's gonna be a free resource. And also, you need to get a copy of this book so that you can use it when you're talking about form and call and response. So, let's get started. Let's look at and practice those instrument parts and let's put it all together. Hey guys. I know this is a lesson on form, but I also want to highlight the idea of the time signature because we've been talking about time signatures as well. So we know we always find it right here at the beginning of our measure, and the top number tells us how many beats are in the measure, and the bottom number tells us which note gets one beat, which note gets one beat. So with that being said, we know this top number here is a six. That means there are going to be six beats in a measure. If we look here in the piano line, one, two, three, plus a dotted half note in this case is also one, two, three, four, five, six. And I say that because we have the eight here at the bottom. The eighth note gets one beat of sound. The eighth note gets one beat of sound. So one beat, two beats, three beats, combining three eighth notes, half plus half plus half equals one and a half. So again, one, two, three four, five, six. All right, now that we've covered that, here's what our score looks like. Again, you'll have a link to the printable in the description below. And the instruments that you're gonna be able to need or that you're gonna use are an alto xylophone, a bass xylophone, or bass bars, boom whacker. Here I've used a djembe, you can use any type of hand drum. Um, if you're playing piano, you can use this piano score here along with your singing voice. Let's get started with practicing the instrument parts. All right, let's take a look at our vocal line for our response. One, two, three, four, five, six, ready and go. Rap a tap tap, think of that. Listen again. One, two, three, ready, go. Rap a tap tap, think of that. Now it's your turn. I'll play it on the piano and count you in. One, two, three, four, five, six, ready, and here we go. Great job. All right, before we begin our alto xylophone line, I want to remind you of our steps of how we hold our mallets. Once we've grabbed our mallets, we're going to hold them in the bicycle position, wrap our fingers around, and turn. Again, bicycle, wrap, turn. Here is our alto xylophone line. One, two, three, four, five, six, ready, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, ready, and here we go. Bass xylophone. Remember, bicycle, wrap, turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, ready, and here we go. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready, and here we go. Here is our boom whacker line. You will need a G, A, B, and high C boom whacker. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready, and here we go. Listen again. One, two, three, here we go. If you've got bass bars, you could also play that bass xylophone line on the bass bars. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, ready, and here we go. Here is my djembe. One, two, three, four, five, six, ready, and here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, ready, and here we go. All right, now that we've looked at and practiced all of the instrument parts, let's get ready to hear a score rendering of the actual pieces. Here we go. Rap a tap tap, think of that. I'll play it one more time so you can hear it without me singing. Hey guys, thanks so much for joining me today on this journey as I teach you these instrument parts for our read aloud. If you're coming to my live class, we will do the read aloud and have you join in with those singing parts. If you're not in my live class, make sure you get a copy of that book and make sure you get the free download from Teachers Pay Teachers so you can use this in your classroom. I'm also gonna include a link right here somewhere to some awesome free MP3 background tracks, just like the one that was being used in today's lesson. Thanks so much for coming, thanks so much for being an awesome musician, and thanks for having a great day of learning. You guys are awesome, you rock, you are an icon. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.